Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today on iOS Advice, I'm going to give you some quick Siri calendar tips. And maybe some of you don't know, there's some pretty awesome ways to manage your schedule and your calendars with Siri without even opening up the calendar app there. And I'm going to show you a few of those tricks here today. So the first thing is, this is probably the easiest thing, is to have Siri tell you what your schedule looks like for the week. So what you want to do is hold down the home button here to invoke Siri and say... What's my schedule like this week? You have 16 appointments for this week. That's a lot. So, as you can see there, I have 16 appointments going on. So, we're going to go ahead and delete some of these because I have some duplicates actually on uh, some of the days here. So, we are going to remove the first one right here. Delete my 1 p.m. appointment on Tuesday, January 1st. Yes. Okay, it's removed. So as you can see there, I just deleted one of my calendar events just like that by observing my calendar, finding out the time, and telling Siri to delete the specific event on said date and time. Let's go ahead and try something different here. What's on my schedule this week? You have 15 appointments for this week. That's a lot. So let's go ahead and move one of these. Let's go ahead and move my 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Move my 4 p.m. on Tuesday, January 1st to 7 p.m. Please tap the appointment you'd like to reschedule. Do something fun at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Do something fun at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Or don't reschedule anything. So as you can see, we had two of them pull up there. So we are going to just tap on one of them here. Okay, I'll make that change to your appointment. Ready for me to schedule it? Yes. I scheduled your event for 7 p.m. tomorrow. So as you heard there, we just rescheduled the appointment. So now if we check, we should have something different. We should be able to reschedule one without having to pick from duplicates. So let's go ahead and try this again. Now that we don't have a duplicate there, we should be able to just freely move an appointment. So let's go ahead and invoke Siri here. What's on my schedule this week? So here you see we have take the dogs for a walk, do something fun. Let's reschedule take the dogs for a walk to 9 p.m. Reschedule my 6 p.m. appointment on Tuesday, January 1st. Okay, Rob God, what's the new time and date for this meeting? Tomorrow at 9 p.m. Okay, I'll make that change to your event. Are you ready for me to schedule it? Yes. I scheduled your event for 9 p.m. tomorrow. So as you saw there, we can look at our schedule and we can move events and we can delete events. How about creating an event? How do you do that? Let's go ahead and add an event to my calendar. I have a doctor's appointment on Friday at 10 p.m. I didn't find any appointments about I have a doctor's for Friday at 10 p.m. Shall I create it? Yes. Your appointment is scheduled for 10 p.m. Friday. So, see, you can just say things like you normally would to Siri and be able to create events out of them. And that happens with most any task that Siri can accomplish. You don't have to say things in a special way. If you just speak naturally to your device, it will kind of interpret what you're saying and translate it into something like this, like a schedule like we just made here. So I hope this is helpful. These are just some quick Siri calendar tips for all of you new or present iOS device owners just to help you get a little more out of Siri. So please let us know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching everybody. This is Dom from appadvice.com and have a great day.